so this is a little video which I didn't expect to do but um, I'm going to show you a sh short section of the Norfolk Coast Path um, Andrew and I and Simon walked this late March 2019 you can see the Cromer Pier just over there we'd walked from Cly over to this point about a mile east of Cromer and we wild camped here on the beach it was a beautiful spot but the tides are really high there's some homeless looking man there <laughs> we did get a few lurks so there we were this was about 10 to 8 and we camped above where we saw the high tide had been the uh, tide before uh, but we were worried that this was especially high you can just see the tide over there but literally it was about six meters from the front of the tent and we were getting quite worried and thinking about contingency plans of uh, retreating up the beach after about 20 nervous minutes uh, we were quite happy that the um, tide hadn't come too close for comfort uh, so we were safe, and that's good. Uh, but then at night time, an entire different world of insects came alive. This little fellow's a beach hopper, and I realised he's attracted to the light. And then his mates came and joined in. They're everywhere. They're just buried under the sand. Um, so they're called beach hoppers. Um, I won't try and pronounce their uh, scientific name. And there were spiders and uh, as I said, and then when I shine my torch inside the tent, um, they sound like popcorn. Insect popcorn. Also, when I looked behind the tent, I had two bright white eyes looking back at me, which I didn't manage to capture on video, but with tracks I found the next day, I realised uh, they were deer. Beautiful Norfolk coast. Oh, wow. well, I think we can just about make it through there, can't we? Only just there. Made it! <laughs> See here the coastal erosion as it happens, literally, from the water that hit the wall last night. It bleeds down like um, watered down clay. It's really quite something. And there hasn't been rain for a while. I think it's just from groundwater coming out. But this bit of beach here is amazing. You'd not expect this of Norfolk, only somewhere like Cornwall or Devon. It's gorgeous. The um, water's still quite high, so hopefully we can get through here. If not, we've got a long walk back. Um, although, according to maps.me, there's a little exit up on the right here, where we can go back up top of the cliff. See what Andrew says. Doesn't look easy, but it looks okay. <laughs> it's like walking across a fresh, freshly ploughed field. It's peculiar. Hopefully we can get down the other side. Judging from here, I think there may be a way. Yeah, Simon's giving the thumbs up. Okay, so it definitely wasn't the way that Andrew went. Uh, but Simon seems to have found an alternative. <laughs> what did you make of that, Andrew? Damp. Damp? 
It's a good new look. Oh no, that looks like more mud fields ahead. It's a thing of nightmares for me. Well, we've reached civilization now. We're not far from Munsley, maybe about 20 minutes, and it's been quite the adventure this morning on the low road. It's uh, the new mud folk and uh, two little companions. It's been a good morning. <laughs> 